Welcome to the Carolina Speedway for a mile and a half round of 12 race here. 12, dot, 12 drivers here for the playoffs. And uh, 32 are normal drivers. But this Carolina Speedway is one of a kind. This has never been raced with actual NASCARs. And this Count Tire Cup Series is bringing it to you live on YouTube. Yeah. But on today's poll, it's Denny Hamlin here at the Carolina Speedway. We are wasting no time. We're going to get right into the drivers to watch for. Kyle Larson is a driver to watch for. He was really fast in practice, really fast in qualifying, because Denny Hamlin was too fast for Kyle Larson, and Kyle Larson was way faster in practice, but he could not take it in qualifying. Denny Hamlin was a tenth faster. Austin Dillon was really fast in practice and qualified too, but he had a little loose off turn three on his final lap at qualify. Um, he was running in the second position when he got loose and fell back all the way to sixth and stayed in sixth. Austin Dillon is really good here at Carolina. We tested these cars at uh, during the off season, and uh, he was really fast. And he won the test race. Uh, they tested uh, like 10, 15 drivers tested this track and race, and he won. Kurt Busch was also really fast in practice. Was a little slower in qualify, but the reason he did not get the pole is because when he qualified right before Danny Hamlin. So right before Danny Hamlin went, Kurt Busch was on the pole, and all of a sudden, when he came off turn four, he was going down the front straightaway, and spun out into the grass. Well, he didn't go to the grass. There's no grass here, but he spun out on the front straight away, straight away, and he did um, get eight. So yeah. And our final driver to watch for is the 18 of Kyle Busch. He was really fast in qualify, but not practice. I mean, switch those around. He was not fast. He was fast in practice he was not fast and qualify whatsoever um he did qualify in the 12th position but watch out for that number 18 car today he will be really fast one final driver to watch out for kevin harvick was also kind of fast and qualify the reason he didn't get in the top 10 was when he talked i talked to Roddy childress and he said that we had an engine problem in the second practice and they had to switch to a backup car and that's why he qualified in the 20th position so he is starting in the dead last of the playoff drivers he's starting in the last of the playoff drivers hopefully he can get a better start and hopefully he can get up to front Flag is bad. This flag is terrible. There we go. It wouldn't work. All right. Well, time for the command. And here's the command from yours truly, BSP. Drivers, start your engines. The engines are fired. Let's get the starting lineup. This, and in row one, we have Denny Hammer, Hamlin, and Kyle Champson. Then we have Joey Slogano in the 22, and 
Young Ryan Blaney in the 12. Then we have the 9 of Chase Elliott and the 3 of Austin Diddle Pickle. Then we have the 2 of Brad Kizawinski and the 1 of Kurt Busch. Then we have the 48 of Jimmy James, 7 time champ Johnson, and Daniel Mexican Suarez. Then we have Alex the Showman Bowman and Kyle Rowdy Bush. Then MTJ Kamon and Cold Custard. Then we have Ross Chastain the Watermelon Man and Willie B. And then Blurry. Oh, we have Recky Spinhouse Jr. and Christopher Ring the Bell. It's Christopher Bell. Then we have the 21 of Matt DeBurrito and the 4 of Kevin Happy Harvick. Not so happy. Then we have the 23 of Bubba Bubba Wallace and Tracy Wilson. Then we have teammates Tyler Smith and Derek Orsett. Then we have the 81 of Bryson Rogers and Rocketman Ryan Newman. Then we have the 25 of D. Collins and the 77 of Justin Haley. Then we have the 10 of Eric Amaroli and the 40 of Jamie McMurray. Then we have a 32 of Donald 2020 Trump then, and the 17 of Chris Boucher. Then we have the 34 of Michael McDonald and the 8 of Tyler Reddick. Then we have the 96 of Ty Dale Pimple and the 33 of Austin Sender. Then the 37 of Ryan Peace and the 31 of Daniel Hemrick. Then the 78 of BJ McLeod. And then the 14 of Clint Boya. Then we have the 62 of Keelan Happy Harvick. And the 7 of Coyle Joy. And the 38 of Anthony Chicken Alfredo. And the double zero of Quinn Hoof. And then to round out the field, we have the 43 of Eric at Jones Boy. Green flags in the air at Carolina here for the Nerf 300. And Ryan Blaney now. Here comes Austin Dillon will take the lead here to end lap number one. Ryan Blaney right behind him. That inside lane will be a factor today. Chase Elliott takes that second spot as Kurt Busch falls in third. Oh, we got a spinner. Austin Dillon goes around. Big hit by Kurt Busch upside down. Austin Dillon crashes with Chase Elliott. He comes back up the track and hits Kurt Busch. And Kurt Busch hits the wall hard and flips upside down. I had a feeling that was going to happen today just because it's a new track. Nobody's known this track. The Carolina Speedway, just like last year, was a crazy crash at Green Bay. The new track that almost flipped the car. Let's look at the replay here. It looks like Dylan maybe came down and Elliot clipped him by accident. Then Dylan comes back up the track and hits Kurt Busch. And then Kurt Busch hits the outside wall on board with Kurt Busch. Bam. Hits the wall. It looks like here, Austin Dylan did not um, get dunked on purpose. He did come down. Um, and Ryan Blaney powed into him at the end. Um, the scene for Ryan Blaney's okay after that hit. No more choose cones, by the way. Um, yeah, just saying. Um, so Kurt Busch and Blaney, playoff contenders, they are out. Green flags back on the air on lap number five. Matt Benedetto retake, uh, takes the lead. Here comes Austin Dillon again from that crash. I'm surprised either. Now he will lead him in the third one and two. Now Hamlin behind him. Custer in the third. Contact between the two. Three wide for Custer. And Denny Hamlin will take the lead. Denny Hamlin. Oh, we got a spinner. Big hit. And it's a big crash. Stenhouse is involved. And a big crash. Right on the exit of the back stretch on a turn three and four. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. gets turned by Ryan Newman. Big crash. Goodness gracious. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cars involved. It's a big one. It's a big crash here. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., a playoff contender. No damage on that car. Well, there is some damage on the right front, but other than that, 
no damage, so he might be able to um, continue, but he was not having a good day at all. Gets collected in a big crash. Ryan Emmon has had a terrible season. He won the first ever race of the day 2500, and then to since then, he, he just gone down. He just went down. Uh, he just went down hard. Let's look at the replay. Oh, Ryan Emmon, it looks like he dumped him, but I don't think he did. Uh, on board, uh, it really looks like he dumped him, but I don't think he did. I think he got loose on the bottom. I think Sandhouse might have came down, maybe. Eric Amarola took a big hit. Instead of the 93. Um, and the 93 and the 90, the 90, uh, 54 have no damage, but engine trouble start the car again. Here we go, green flag, let's go crank it up again. Alright, there was a one lap of crank it up. Cole Custer now to the inside. Two laps to go, guys. Danny Hamlin now retakes the lead. He's led a lot of laps today here. A big on board with him. As Custer moves him out of the way, here comes Martin Trucks Jr. Custer to the inside. A white flag. Kirkman Cole Custer! Oh, no, Oh my goodness, I just said white flag way too late. It looks like Cole Custer has won at Carolina, and he burns it down on the front stretch. Big time burnout. I know I said white flag really late. He gets out of the car. Here is your standing. Here we go, the playoff standings. The bottom four were eliminated. Here it is. Kevin Harvick. Martin Truex Jr., Danny Hamlin, Kyle Busch, Jimmy Johnson, Chase Elliott, Brad Kozlowski, and Kyle Larson in advance. Kyle Larson beat Daniel Suarez by literally one foot for the playoff spot. He beat him. I looked at it. It was one foot. That was a one foot finish between those two. As Brad Kozlowski has it once in Charlotte. He uh, barely squeaked in. He was about three positions ahead of Suarez. He didn't have a great day. Kozlowski won race one and nine. But since then, he just had a bad start. Denny Hamlin, and, uh, Denny Hamlin has not won the season, but he's been close. He has definitely been close. He, he, he was up front most of the day, honestly. Here's the eliminated. Daniel Suarez is the only driver close enough to make make it. Is the only driver close enough to make it. Ryan Blaney, Kurt Busch, and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. They crashed. Um, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Had no damage, but his engine um, it would not start the car. And when it did, he got around the full track for one lap and then went to the garage. He went to the garage after that. It was crazy. Just mesmerizing finish. What a finish that was. Cole Custer and Austin Dillon. Austin Dillon was very, very close. Um, as you will see, now we'll look at the, um, the finishing results. Look for your favorite driver. Um, yeah, look for your favorite driver. Look for your favorite driver. It looks like, look at this. Kozlowski did even finish in the top 14. Look at Kyle Larson and Daniel Swords right there. Cole Custer wins the Nerf 300 at Carolina Speedway. Two more races in Season 2. Um, Green Bay will be the first race of the round of eight. We'll see you guys at Green Bay. Peace out, boys and girls.